What's up, guys? It's the boy with the fro, <laughs> Mr. Nikolai Solo. How are you doing tonight, sir? Doing good, man. Doing good. How you been? I've been doing all right. So what you what you play for your locals tonight here? Man, we were blessed with Dawn of Majesty, so I had to bring the girls out one time. On, on this Friday night where, where it's legal? Yeah, man. OTS, man. We're running real good over here. Oof. So I finished undefeated in Swiss with the VTuber special, Live Twin, Evil Twins, them girls. Man, this deck was actually really fun to play. Like, it was just troll. And thank you to my boy, Andrew, for lending me the spice so I can play it. Oof. So let's get into it. All right. So just to start out, we're playing with the... Three tour guide red, three tour guide blue. Sir, it's called Kiss to Kill and Lila. <laughs> so, triple to uh, triple twin Lila, triple twin Kiss to Kill, one of the frosts, and one of the tree. So they're just basically the extenders. Uh, I think this is eight is standard right now. Uh, possibly two, but she does nothing on her own. She has other stuff to do it with. So this was a perfectly good ratio today. Then for hand traps, we played two mourner, two bell, three effect veilers, three ash. So, so why did you decide to play trash mourner? Oh my god, don't hurt my girl like that. <laughs> I know she's so, starlight, but what, what's going on here? So she's basically a second imperm, and when games get really grindy, uh, she helps out a lot in time because she also burns. So I just want to play more effect veilers. So you're also playing three imperm as well. Yes, sir. Triple imperm. So we're playing three, six, nine, eleven, thirteen hand traps. Uh, would like to play more, but it's hard to find space with everything. Got you. Then we played a little spice that I like, Parallel Exceed. Uh, so Parallel Exceed does one of few things that it allows you to end on Abyss Dweller or Baguska. Um, Baguska against combo decks other than Drytron, Dweller for Drytron, Tribegate, stuff like that. Uh, is really good against it because you can sit on the Baguska and then go into a Zeus. And if you can't out the Dweller, you can go into a Zeus. And the Cybers too, so it matches everything for like the Link Disciple players. Mm -hmm. For the spells, we play the Harpies, Call by the uh, Grave, two Tactics. Uh, these was basically the generic ones. Uh, tactics is like this deck is, it says hand trap me any way possible, I lose. Tactics is really good for that. I want to play three of it, it's my favorite card. I agree, I am also a fan of the Tactics. Then for the theme, we'll play two Homes, three Passwords, and the best card of the deck. Three Sunny uh, Snitch. Ooh, is that so, the new Rota that was just released in Dawn of Majesty? Man, this card is so good. Why was this card not Starlight? Oh my god, Konami, why you hurt me like that? I would have loved it to be Starlight. It would have been actually beautiful if it was Starlight too. But to be a tanky and also a burner card for the deck, when we get that Link 4, it's going to be so good to play and going into it. Like, this fits so well. And then uh, for the traps, I play two Psalm Strike and two Torrential. I want to focus more on a hand chop because if you go second, uh, you can just hand chop a lot of the bigger combo decks. And if you go first, at least you have real traps to, uh, comp like this, to sit on with. Uh, strike and Torrential is basically a combo. Um, if they try to negate your uh, your Torrential, you have to strike and you still board wipe them. I almost beat uh, Drytron game one with a double Torrential play, so they lose the board, but they still had the Dragoons, and I just needed to draw into any evil twin. I could just uh, to fight through the Dragoon because he had no cards in hand. I wish it was would have been nice. And the deck is 40. So that was a clean, clean 40. 40. So for the extra deck, go start uh, big to uh, last. Uh, Axis code OTK. Uh, you play Abomination because it fits into the theme of you're locked into fiends when you use any of the evil twins effects. So you can end on this for a free pop at the end phase. Uh, Griffin is spicy. It's good. Um, I didn't summon it once, but the theory is that uh, you're stacking up to basically lock your opponent out from not using any of their monster effects because the evil twins will just uh, bring them back and then it locks into this so they get their effects. Unicorn because you play IP and it spins and it's a fiend. IP because she's IP. And it's Starlight. Then you gotta play Triple Evil Twin Lilla. Triple Evil Twin Kisekil. 
So because we don't have the uh, Link 4 out yet, you play 3 of 3 because you need to grind with them and everything. At most, you can go through like 2 of this and you just stack it up with these and everything, but this worked out perfectly. I want to play Pot of Avarice, but I gotta find space because sometimes the grind game, like you need to get these back in there. Then you play the Link Devotee and Link Disciple. I've been seeing everybody do this. It makes sense, but I kind of wish I uh, swapped this into a transcode and this into update jammer because with um any evil twin and parallel seed is otk going second and this deck has trouble killing your opponent right now so this allows you to push for game if you just swap it out for a transcode and update jammer then like i said you play parallel c so you have dweller and baguska because these are the two best cards right now dweller beast drytron and you have zeus this guy's created me to God, so we need God killers over here. <laughs> For the side, and this wonderful local I played, sadly only one, uh, Skullmeister. I understand you're broke. <laughs> two Cycle Readers, uh, two Drolls, two Lancia. Um, for this hand chop lineup, I just figured a two is good because I already main deck a lot of the heavy ones already. Uh, I don't want to get clogged up, and I figured out like I just need to draw into a hands of like four hand chop and evil twin. Mm -hmm. uh, Cosmic cyclones. We need more more ways to beat back row decks. Uh, three evenly match because we don't care about going um, going second because we can't OTK anyway. So we just need to clear up and play the control game. Uh, more back row hate really and red reboot because we hate back row decks. You know, this is a one card starter deck. I, I can't lose to a one card back row. I went against Alter Geist and that guy Sound Judgment, my evil twin uh, Lilla, and I was like, why'd you do that, bro? <laughs> Man, but I had home with Zaki. But yeah, this was a deck. Loved it. Enjoyed it. Uh, would. I'm gonna keep playing this deck for a while. I'm bored of everything else, try to get and everything. So this is actually pretty spicy. All right. So. Well, congrats on your local win tonight. Thank you. Thank you. You have any shout outs? Uh, shout out to the homie, Fredella, for lending me the spice. Uh, everybody at locals and oh yeah, the young boy named Hunter. That guy's cool. Keep out, look out for him. <laughs> yeah. He likes those suicide bomber decks, right? Oh my god, he loves combo heavy decks. <laughs> that boy loves it. But see you guys later.